Serena Zvezda against Tibona was our first semi-final in the Combank Arena. Radonic's team was by far the most convincing team after the regular season, while Rimac's Tibona was considered a surprise package, and rightly so, as the club managed to get the last F4 ticket in spite of various problems. Jakob Lajic was showing signs of good form as he opened the scoring, and after Nelson's rebound, he added another two points. It seems Vezda was opening the game well, but that image faded away rather quickly as soon problems started to emerge. Nelson was not having his night organizing things for the red and white, Charic was quick to punish that, and Tibona was not going to hand over the lead to the opponent for the rest of the match. The home team went as many as four minutes without scoring as Tibona took regular advantage of that. The team from Zagreb were in front by 12 points when Marin Rosi scored. Still, Zvezda at least got something from the last minute of the first half as Blažić first drove and dunked for his eighth point, which he then followed up with his tenth. It seemed Tibona would at least preserve an eight-point lead, but Charles Jenkins managed to steal the ball right at the end of the quarter and Zvezda somehow managed to close the gap to just six points after being much more for the majority behind for the first ten minutes. No real change at the beginning of the second quarter as Tibona was quick to again to get away to a ten-point lead. Blažić was just about the only player from Zvezda to play well. Then it was time for Dario Šaric to show why he's considered one of the most talented players in the world as he provided the highest lead for Tibona thus far. The lead grew even further in the next minute after which Blasingame made a mistake and Blažić was able to score again after Jenkins had provided an assist. As in the first quarter, Zvezda managed to get closer as they managed to finally score for three in the end, one of only two three-pointers in the entire match. The third quarter, all but the same as the previous two, as Seriščević stole the ball and fed it to Rozic, who made it 43-29 to to the visitors. Radonic reacted with a timeout, but it didn't have much effect as Šaric managed to fire another three right after it. The result didn't change much throughout the third period. A glimpse of hope here and there for the home fans, as in the case of this Marjanovic's dunk. But the plot had then changed completely in the last period as Tibona's short bench had started to show and Cervena Zvezda sensed an opportunity. After Jenkins rounded up a successful fast break, the lead had dropped to 10 points after quite some time and then to 8 as the fans also recognized the growing push and were slowly getting back into the game again. But to their agonizing misfortune, Blessingame and Šaric were having none of it as the Americans scored another three and put his team back to relative safety. The real drama then started to emerge two and a half minutes before the end of the game when Blessingame lost the ball and Nelson closed the gap to less than ten points. Tibona made further mistakes and Cervena Zvezda performed better in defense and managed to finally get within striking distance as the lead was cut to just four points just before Slaven Rimac was actually forced to take a timeout. Not much help from it though as Marko Simonovic dunked with a vengeance to put Zvezda just two points behind. And when Šaric scored only one free throw at the other end, Cervena Zvezda had a chance to equalize. Kuz foul Jenkins but the American was only half successful from the free throw line and Sibona remained in the lead. The red and white had their last chance when Simonovic had the chance to score for three, but he missed, while at the other end, Marin Rosic scored the deciding basket and Tibona Zagreb, against all odds, was in the final. Gerald Blasingame and Dario Šaric were the star performers and with the former reaching 29 points and 9 assists and the latter boasting with 21 points, 15 rebounds and 6 assists, 
It was clear Tibona was the better team. By far the best player at Cervena Zvezda's ranks was Jakab Blažić with 25 points.